Hello, and welcome to Squiver. Today I'll be showcasing a demo of both our products, org chart, as well as playbook. I'd like to start with the Lend of an SDR team member. Having the ability to visualize the hierarchy is extremely useful in strategizing your plan of attack. Building it is very easy, as we are just a lightning component that is object agnostic. Our product will bring your Salesforce data to life. Now, if you have the reports to fields filled out, the org chart will auto populate. But reorganizing it is as easy as ever. It's a matter of just clicking and dragging. By doing this, this will also update their reports to field. Now, if you have an indirect relationship that exists that does not follow the hierarchy, you can actually visualize this with our indirect directional relationship line. Now, on the top left, we have a very useful feature where we can visualize both a partner account and partner contacts. Very useful when doing business and having those partner accounts working with you. And this will further help paint the fuller picture. We'll go back to the contact card and dive a little deeper in here. Now, starting from the right, we have our rating systems. We have four categories which you can rate a contact, which will then be averaged and visualized here. Next, you have sentiment, a great way to track and see how someone's interaction was with this specific contact. This will show what the last entry was, time stamped, as well as the note left with it. This can also be tracked to the user that inputted that as well. So you can easily see who is having good or maybe not so good interactions with this contact. Next, we have the LinkedIn icon. This will populate blue if the contact's LinkedIn URL is filled out. Otherwise, it'll be left gray like the other ones. Next, we have the plus icon. Very useful as you can add all your standard activities right from here. Send email, meeting, task. Um, and also, you can create additional contacts opportunities as well as an account. So you can perfect your org chart without having to leave this org chart. Now on the left hand side, we have a different, a couple different ways to kind of visualize this org chart. You have the orientation, going right facing, left facing, upside down. But we also have different ways to view the cards themselves. We're looking at full card view. We have condensed, as well as another condensed view. This is great for compounding it with our exporting feature, which then is very useful in deal reviews, QBRs, and other internal and external use. Go ahead and switch these back. Now on the contact card itself, if we double click this, a couple things we can see here. One, you can change the image which is available. Color cut them. As you can see down here, Dwight is listed in green. Feel free to use this in different ways to visually represent maybe what you've done with the contact already. And here we have the contact detail, which you can edit right from this panel. And then these tabs here are also customizable, which I'll showcase some other configurations later. Now, if we hop over to Aperture Science here, if your Reports to field is not filled out, this is most likely what it'll look like. A ton of contacts rolling up directly to the account. The parking lot function here will allow you to either drag from or to the parking lot to reorganize your hierarchy. But we also have this button here, Remove Independent Contacts. When doing so, this will move all contacts that report directly to the account into the parking lot, allowing you to have a more digestible and approachable way to reorganize your org chart. Go ahead and hop back to Dunder Mifflin here. We have a few more features. We have the list view, another way to individually search a contact that you're looking for and also see all contacts. You can also do the same search function with this search bar up here. And then we have the filter option, another way to kind of isolate or dial in on who you're looking for. 
Now there was a feature that I overlooked, which is here, the role selector. You can easily with a few clicks assign account roles to these contacts. But actually we can add a opportunity with the plus sign. We'll do put in a close day and a stage. Hit save. And now when you go to assign role, it actually sees that opportunity we just created. This is a great way to transition from your SDR team to your sales team. Now, if we go ahead and assign some roles to this opportunity, we can actually assign roles from our partner account as well. And once we move over, we can actually see a different view of our work chart. 